I suppose I'd rather defend an innocent man because it's always more gratifying to get a, a positive result for someone who's innocent. On the other hand, the pressure is worse because if you lose the case, you've got to keep appealing it and appealing it and appealing it as long as there's any appeal to try. And it's uh, very frustrating, very depressing to know that someone who is innocent is sitting in jail despite your best efforts. The unseen part of the iceberg is the preparation of the case, which involves investigation. After all, if you have the evidence with you, uh, no amount of advocacy is going to affect the result. And if it's against you, the same is probably true. And if the investigation establishes clearly enough the guilt or the innocence of the defendant, why uh, the man representing him isn't really going to make that much difference. I'm simply a functionary in the system who's obliged to give him the best defense I can. And it certainly doesn't bother me if his guilt is not proven to the satisfaction of a jury. Well, I have very few contemporaries. Uh, if you're talking about people who devote all of their time to the defense of criminal cases, there are only a handful in the country. And uh, some of them that I know I have great respect for. Uh, on the other hand, there aren't a great many lawyers in this country that I would be happy to have defend me if I were in a jam. Tougher the case, that is, the tougher to get a conviction, I suppose the more competent the prosecutor who uh, obtains one. One of the best lawyers that I bumped into a courtroom, uh, although I don't want to sound chauvinistic about it, is my own classmate, Mr. Kahn, who tried the Strangler and who tried a prior case with me. Uh, the prosecutors in the Shepard and Coppolino cases were both very competent men. But a prosecutor is kind of a different animal than a defense lawyer, and I think it's uh, very hard to compare them as trial lawyers or advocates there. Expertise is different, their whole mode of operation is different, and uh, they tend to melt into a general category. I think you'd have a great deal of trouble remembering from American history one famous prosecutor, whereas there are numerous uh, defense heroes whose names will probably never be forgotten.